my darlings how are you my name is Fumi Desalo Vold for those of you that are stopping by for the very first time welcome for those that are regulars welcome back this is for you dedicated to you because you're so wonderful and I love this uh, communication that we have communicado that we have uh, last week I had reviewed Fenty Beauty soft matte foundation powder in 470 it wasn't a complete disaster, but we can all agree that it was a little too dark. Yes, wasn't it a little too dark? Well, you let me know in the comments. You were like, girl, it's too dark. <laughs> it's aging you. <laughs> sting. <laughs> that was a sting. That was a sting. <laughs> but I took it in good faith. So I said, you know what for me? <laughs> we are reviewing this again. So we came up with 450. Here we have it, Balalim, Baladus, and we decided to give it a second take for you guys so that you know you can save your coin and get the right foundation. I must say that I love the, the application of it. I love the finish of it. I am wearing the 450. Yes, I am. We're going to go into all of this. And you're going to be very, very, very happy because I listen to you. I'm trying to listen to you as much as I can. And I did the entire makeup for you on camera i don't do it usually because i'm trying to quicken up the time because you guys are like for me please like i got stuff to do i am also introducing comfort zone and this is a new brand by my friend georgie he is amazing this is what i have on my eyes i am not surprised you know i'm not surprised at how fabulous it turned out this is the palette right here you have to support him i'll put the link below and when i tell you my darlings i use literally all of these colors apart from the blue and the gold i think i just used all of these and this is what we came up with you will also be happy to know that it is a talk through <laughs> a lot of you think i don't like to talk are you kidding me <laughs> It's a talk through. So sit back, my sweets, enjoy this, and I will see you towards the end of this tutorial. And you let me know what you think. But do we love the final look though? And then the blouse is so gorgeous. It's all rouged and it's also rouged in the back. And I swirl it. Put me so you can swirl it back. There you go. It's all swirled in the bag. Isn't it gorgeous? By H&M in collaboration with Giampattistia Valley. I discovered Giampattistia Valley when I went to Italy. And um, beautiful. The finishing of this is so fabulous. So that's the look, darlings. And then I've got my little rose earrings. Wait, hold on. Let me clean them up. Clean them up. Clean them up for you guys. Yeah, there you go. See? my little rose earrings so now we're gonna go and do uh start from the beginning start from the beginning so that you guys can see how i got this final look do we love my darlings do we love all right see you mm. uski we're done yeah all right guys we are back let's try this let's try this so i am using darling let me bring it in close and you already know it hydra visor fenty skin it's just everything to me let's twist it open <laughs> Woo! Choo -choo 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 -choo. squeeze in the hand voila and moisturize this puppy. Oh, oh, mm, the best base ever. The best base. Yes. Okay, are we hydrated? Are we moisturized? Let me just put this mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. Voila, I live, I like. This looks nice, doesn't it? Huh? Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, so this, my darlings, is the 470. That was what I used the first time. And to be fair, it was dark. I love the application. I loved how it looked on my skin. And I worked it. 
but it was a bit dark. It was a bit dark. Now we have the 450. Okay, we're going to open it up a loops. And that is what it looks like. <laughs> this is the 470. This is the 450. I read a lot of your comments. Some of you said that it wasn't the same shade as your liquid foundation because I wore the 470 in the liquid. They said, no, darling, it's not the same shade. You have to go a little bit lighter. So this is the comparison. This is the 470. This is the 450. We are trying this out here for the first time. And we'll do half face. Half face is good, yeah? And this, my darlings, is the 115 Foundation Brush. Fenty Beauty. Voila. And we're going to go in. Yeah? We're going to go in. Already I can see that it is much better. Wow. You can't even compare. This is much better by far. You can't even tell. I looked at the 460 and it was way too red. It was way too red. So the 450, apparently this is a neutral. It is a neutral shade. So just keep that in mind. But this is gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Look. <laughs> All right. So let me do the whole face. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. So guys, I hope this helps. Just look. Absolutely fantastic. And I love it. I love the fact that you can put on as much as you want or just go as light as you want. Yes, this is much better by far. Now I'm going to use Juvia's Play Stick Foundation and this one is in Benin. It is literally done, but I'm digging. <laughs> That's my thing. That's my thing, I dig. <laughs> digging for the truth. <laughs> I'm not gonna put it in here. I use like the bottom of um, an eyeshadow uh, brush. I just put it like so. And I like it because I can get the right precision down my nose. Voila and just use the excess and then I'm just going to use a sponge and let's dab in what do we think guys I'm going to use Ben Eye and the shade I'm using setting powder is Topaz Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to take the 470 and let me contour and see how that goes. Wow. Wow. Yes. See? So all is not lost. <laughs> and just lightly contour. Yes. Yes. That works. So guys, use the 470 as a contour shade. And that works. 
unbelievable, but true. Yes. Look guys, perfect. Let me just do a light, light, light baby contour on the nose loops. Yeah, I'm going to use this same shade, voila. Spin it around, spin it around. Don't want it to be too severe. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Thank you guys. I'm not able to answer all of your comments, but I do read them. I like the advice. Yep, this works for me. Let me do my brows just to save time and then we're going to go in with color. <laughs> Guys, just look at this. Isn't this fantastic? Without a beat, we are going to go and start with George's Cosmetics. Comfort Zone, he's such a good friend of mine, such a sweetheart. And congratulations to you, Georgie. He started his brand last year and he came out with the first beautiful palette. And just look at how gorgeous this is. So we are going to play with some colors. I think I want to use Dead Free, Spice It Up, Hold Out, Inflamed, Red Wine, Lifeless, Ooh, Cruelty Free, the colors are gorgeous absolutely beautiful the names are so wonderful so let us go in first let me just get a brush i can get this fluffy brush here yeah that works and we are going to use the pro conceal uh concealer fenty beauty this is 14 on the lid okay so i'm just going to take off the excess voila and i'm gonna put it on the eye like so yeah that good looks good for me put a little bit up there for the longest time I used to use my fingers but now I've gotten a little bit more professional <laughs> and I just use a brush and I just dab and that just helps to keep my eyeshadow on longer without creasing without flaking off I just use any kind of concealer it doesn't matter it really doesn't you can use a primer too but I find that concealers also are perfect Perfect, perfect, perfect. They just work. So we're going to go in with this shade. Yes. And just go above my crease up there. And I just blot it right in there. Voila. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of you were saying for me, but you know, you just wore the foundation and then you came back with your makeup. I felt like I missed the whole episode. <laughs> I was trying to be quick. I cannot please all of you. All of you want different things. It's too slow. It's too long. It's too short. We want more. So I'm trying to please as many of you. So we'll try, you know, this way and see how it works. I will tell you right now, I am living for this color. It's nice. It's a lovely transition shade. I'm going to do another episode also, how to apply eyeshadow 101. And I'll show you why some palettes work and some don't. Georgie's palette works because you have all the shades there that can give you different eye stories and you need bases and stuff like that and you need transition colors for sure and he has that so I'm just punching it in and then I'm just taking it out on the side I'm living for these cornrows it's a bit messy now but I love it I just love the fact that I get up and I don't have to do my hair. Yeah. I'm using M -M 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 Mitchell's brush. I love this. Absolutely beautiful. It's a thinner brush. That's what I want to show you guys, but I'll show you that in the other tutorial. Do you see how thick the first one was? Now we're going thinner because I want to use a different shade, but I don't want it to overlap the first shade. And we are going to go in with spice it up. This one. Boom, 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 boom. And we're going in right there. Ooh, yes. Well, well, well. Yeah, spicy. And just on the inner, right there, halfway. Mm -hmm. I don't take too much time applying eyeshadow. It's just not rocket science to me. You know, it's only makeup. You make a mistake, you correct it. Take it off, try it again. 
that's just my ammo and that's it okay and voila that's all i'm doing then we are going to go in with red wine i have tissue down here so i just swirl this brush also take off the excess from spice it up and we're going in with red wine this one here and i go on the outer part of my eye yep and i just swirl it in and i'm liking what it's doing it's not skipping it's pigmented enough it seems to adhere to the primer that i put on that's another thing because some shadows only work with some primers this seems to be okay you know easy going kind of eyeshadow palette <laughs> can you see voila yes and then you just go in a little bit i like to take this in yeah mm-hmm mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that does work take it all the way out take it underneath my eye right there so you have a complete look right there because i want to do a look where you can be like fumi showed us something that was really simple it came out beautifully it, again it's not rocket science and remember i'm always thinking about palettes that think about women of color and i am in the darkest spectrum so i am liking this already Yes, same brush, lighter to darker, and we are going to go with lifeless. <laughs> That's the black one right there, lifeless, boom, boom. Tap off the excess, yeah, because you want to go gingerly. It's like driving a car. You don't want to go too fast and lose control. So we go in to the very edge right there and just swirl and see what it gives you it gives me pigmentation and then just lightly brush over cruise over there you go right over mm -hmm. and then kind of spread it out but not too much do you see the difference from here to there it just gives a little more character and you just try to zhuzh it in a little bit here but not overwhelmingly so. Yeah. I like the palette a lot. Same thing here. There you go. Zhuzh. That's in my dictionary. It's not really a word, but it just means that you just romance your eyelid. You know, you play with the brush very lightly and you rotate and just try to drag the color in without moving the other colors. It's practice. It's nothing more. It's just practice. Yeah, I make mistakes all the time. You guys just don't get to see them. So I look perfect. See? That's it. So it's a marriage. You don't know where it starts. You don't know where it ends, but you know it's in there. <laughs> Voila. Do you see? And then you can tap down if you feel, because you want it to look even. So I'm going to take this right here just to make sure that it looks even. You know, as the other eye. So pretty. So pretty. Okay, this one is inflamed and this is dead free. Inflamed first, yeah? And just pat. I love the color. And then what you do is on this side, you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, so that it looks like a feed into the black, into the shimmer. See? See? So what you're going to do is that you're going to take the black eyeshadow 
and just go over that with the brush. Don't put any more eyeshadow on top of it and that just feeds it out. See? There you go and then you just do it on this end too. Voila. Take the other side and go in with date free. Okay? And just put that right in the corner there. And you can go up and down a little bit. And that's how you have your little shadow. And you do the same thing like you did on the outer. You put it over so that it has that kind of marriage. It's a lovely, lovely palette. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Then for the brow bone. Why do we call it the brow bone? Because there's a bone right there. See? And the brow is right there. So you have the brow bone and that's where the light hits. So you can take, well, there's a particular brush I live for this brush. And I got this from Morphe. Yes. Voila. I've shown it so many times. And this, my darlings, is the 131 Morphe fan brush. The 131 Morphe fan brush. So I'm going to use Angelic. Voila. And I'm going to use Defeated. Oh, yes. And just grease it very lightly. Angelic is a two-tone. So it gives off this beautiful sunsetty shade. And you just drag it. I like the fan brush because you can drag the shade and it just blends into the eye color story like that. So it's not overwhelming at all. And when you mix it with Defeated, it just gives me the right dose. There you go, do you see? And then you use the fan brush and just drag it. Voila. Do you see? Isn't that fun? So let me put on some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. Do we love or do we love? What do you think guys? Look at how beautiful this is. I live for it. Comfort zone is a must. You gotta buy this. You got, I wish I had a discount code for you guys. This is nice. This is nice. It works. Just look. Yummy. Yummy. Live for this. All right. So we got the, I put like a black pencil. I am living for Victoria Beckham's eye pencil. It is so black. It is so soft. It just glides on. I know she's expensive, but we are, you know, we are locks. So this is lovely. They sent me this in PR. I will go begging again. <laughs> and you know what I want to do this year? As I go begging and demanding, <laughs> I say, you know what? I need some for my followers too. I mean, how are they supposed to afford all of these things? You know, give me some more. So we're going to go on to blusher, rosy cheeks by MAC. Let's put on. Yes. Pink is always nice. It is such a feminine color. Let's put a little bit up here, right there, just on the temple on the side and just swish your brush around. We're doing lots of jaging and swishing. Why not? And then we'll do it on the other side and I'll show you a little trick, okay? So we're just putting a little bit here as well. Jaging and swishing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Voila jaging and swishing put a little bit here on the side of your temples and then watch this take the blusher brush take the blusher watch and just go over and just go over and it brings it together you don't know what it is but you just put a little there and you just put a little there right over. I've done this for years, an old, old trick. And then you can go in with yet a smaller brush, yeah? Go back in, and this is the Instagram trick, yeah? Just go in there, and then go in right there and just highlight it a little bit, you know, for that extra glam. And you can do this 5 p.m. when you're finished work and you're going on your date. You guys seem to enjoy the sister to sister that I had for you guys. We'll do more. And I think you want on dating, you know. And I am here, my sweets. Do we love? Okay, we're going with Juvia's Place. This is the lip pencil. And this one is called Cola. It's a lovely pencil. It's a twist up. 
everywhere you go. Keep the product nice and handy. Yummy. And we're going to use Invo. It's a lovely peachy color by Juvia's Place also. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Where is my, um? yeah. Then we're going in Fumi. Yes, this is Disco Fever Lip Gloss for my collaboration with Juvia's Place. Don't forget to use my discount code. I don't want to mix colors, so I always like to put it on my hand, whatever you're going to use, so that it can still stay clear and beautiful. And then just use your finger over. Mm. Just look, darlings. Do we love or do we love? Do we love or do we love? Oh. So that is it, my darlings. I think that we have come to the conclusion that Fenty Beauty, when it comes to their Pro Filter Foundation for a woman of my color, and if you are my shade, it is highly advised to go in for the 450. The 450 is gorgeous. You can use the 470, my darlings, as a contour shade, and it will work. It will absolutely work. I love this. I think it's so gorgeous. And then my darling friend has started his brand called Comfort Zone. I used it on the eyes. Look at how beautiful. So, 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 so beautiful. And this is his palette. Is it FDV approved? It is absolutely FDV approved. Gorgeous. And as you very well know, there are no beautiful lips like you have with Juvia's Place. And I use Invo, one of my favorite colors ever. And then I topped it off with my Disco Fever, which is still available on the website. You can still get it. You can also use my discount code for even less. And dare I say, is it on sale? I think it is. I think it is. All right, guys. I love you. I will see you later. Mwah. <laughs>